Hello, everybody. Happy Friday and welcome to episode seven of Beauty Graffiti. I am so excited. I've been having so much fun I'm going live every Friday, 12 p.m. PST. So be sure to jump on with me and absolutely share this live now while I'm live so you can be in my drawing to win an awesome Earth This Wag, which I'm going to show you at the end of our show. So this show's episode is all about a power skincare routine. There's three things we need to do for our skin. First, we need to cleanse it. Then we need to uh, treat it and exfoliate it. And then we need to further nourish it with some other products that really help that skin. So remember, we're going to cleanse, we're going to exfoliate, we're going to treat, okay? So today, I'm going to quickly go through some of the main and products. Um, was it interesting because yesterday I was talking to my husband, or was it today? We were talking about how there are billions of skincare products out there and how overwhelming can it be to know what to spend your money on because skincare is not cheap so what are you going to spend your money on and is it really working what do you need to look for what is the best thing for your skin how what and how do you even use it when do you use it does this go with that does it go in the morning the noon or night what do you do so today is all about a power skincare routine and uh so no matter when you start Taking care of your skin, it's always a good day to start, whether it's late or whether it's early in life. Maybe you're in your 20s, our skin starts to age, we lose collagen in our 20s, and just unless we take care of it, we're going to have problems later. So our skin is the, basically our canvas so that you can either wear your makeup without having to cover up stuff that you don't, you're not comfortable with, or just go makeup, makeup free and just have that confidence, that bare skin confidence that just makes you look like, la, 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 it's okay, I can just rock my... My mascara and something on my lips, and that's what I have on right now. <laughs> Literally just mascara and a tinted lip balm, which we're going to talk about later. So stick around because I have something for you. Okay, so let's start in with the cleansing. Two things I love to use to cleanse my skin. First of all is shine cloths. Shine cloths are a makeup remover, but I also use it after I sweat in my Zumba class because so, it just cleans off all the sweat and sweat sits on your skin. It turns right into bacteria, which causes breakouts. So I grab a shine cloth. And the reason these are so much better than any other product that I have tried is because they're enhanced with oils. It's not an astringent. There's no alcohol in it to dry out my skin. I'm actually cleaning my skin and getting a little mini spa. So it's super, super cool. Um, this has sunflower oil, olive oil, jojoba, vitamin E, and rosemary. They're amazing. I love these. I keep them around all the time. After Zumba, I wipe down. Um, if I'm wearing a full face of makeup, I wipe off my makeup first and then wash my face. So taking it off with the shine cloths, actually the oils help get into your pores and take more out of your pores. That's always good. Second thing I love to use is the pore cleanser. And this has, it's, it's a cleansing gel. I'll show it to you real quick. And it has little jojoba beads that gently exfoliate. And literally, let me show you how much I would use. Literally, you just need that much. And you're just gonna rub it in your hands and then cleanse your face, use warm water. I'm just gonna be wiping. I'll show you swatches of these and just wipe it off as we go along. Um, and then just wash your face with warm water, give a splash of cold when you're done. And then that takes care of your cleansing. So what I do every single day too is, well, pretty much every day is a face mask and I alternate. This is where we want to exfoliate the dead skin cells. Cleansing is great, but we need to exfoliate the dead skin cells. Um, the, the moisturizer you're gonna use afterwards is going to be more effective if the dead skin cells are gone first. Also, dead skin cells just really make your wrinkles stand out. Um, it makes your face look dull. So when you get rid of the dead skin, your face actually glows, you're, you're reducing wrinkles, your moisturizer is working into your skin the way it's designed, and you just look beautiful <laughs> and you feel great. So here's what I'd use. I'm gonna demonstrate for this, after the show, I'm gonna demonstrate the detoxifying mask for you because it's a five minute mask and I'll show you how to use it. But I'm gonna have to wait till the end because then I'm gonna have to go rinse it off after we're off live. So this is a black charcoal bamboo activated char activated charcoal mask what it does is you put it on your skin and it stays soft this is not the black mask that gets hard and uh, peels off 10,000 layers of your skin <laughs> those hurt <laughs> no this mask is awesome it actually what it does is activated charcoals pull out the toxins in your skin 
So it's actually pulling out the toxins while it's putting oxygen into the skin and it's gently exfoliating as well. So the whole process of the mask is just making your skin glow, um, it's evening out your skin tone. Um, some of my friends that have dark circles underneath their eyes, it actually lightened the dark circles because the activated charcoal, bamboo charcoal, lightens the skin. So this is a great way to accomplish so much with that. So I alternate a day like that, I'll say it's Monday, and then Tuesday, I'll use an exfoliating mask. So I use two masks and I alternate daily. You don't wanna over exfoliate your, your skin. So this is a gentle exfoliator. The exfoliating mask is a little stronger because there's sea salt in there, kaolin clay, nutrients, um, vitamins, and just everything that's exfoliating your skin while conditioning your skin. So you don't wanna just go in with something harsh, you know? So if you're gonna use a sugar scrub, a salt scrub, you wanna add shea butter, you wanna add, you know, kale and clay or, or something to like give it a, a texture um, and a conditioner in, in it as well. Or you can just use an exfoliating mask that's already designed and done all the work for you, which I like. <laughs> I like to make my life easy. So same thing, you just put this on and you rub it for about a minute. You just rub it for about a minute and then you just let it sit for a couple minutes and then rinse it off with warm water give a splash of cold to kind of shock your pores back. And this is really, really important to use. Um, face masks are essential for your skin, again, to remove dead skin cells, but to condition the skin as well. Uh, lastly, the last exfoliator I love to use is a lip exfoliator. This one actually twists up, so it's super convenient, and there's no mess. And I say no mess because some lip exfoliators come in a jar, and you have to use your finger, and you rub your lips with it. That's great, but it, you know you have to clean up, and you have extra stuff to do if you're going to use that. So I love to use this. You just rub it on. I'll just do it right now. I just have lip gloss on. So you just rub it on. And what is in this is real sugar and shea butter. Okay, so it's exfoliating and putting nutrients on my lips so that my lips are not left dry. And you're just going to rub it on and then get a damp cloth. I'm just going to grab this napkin and wipe it off. You'll be tempted to lick your lips because it is sugar and it tastes sweet. But remember, you're also licking dead skin cells, so that's kind of gross. <laughs> Thank you for being with me today. If you are here, give me a shout. Let me know where you're from. I had lip gloss on, so I'm going to go ahead and just wipe that off just like that. There we go. Nice and clean for the next time I use it. So that's really fun. Give me a shout where you guys are from. I'd love to hear where you're watching from and be sure to share this video while I'm live to be in my drawing. I'll see in the shares who did, so you don't have to do anything else. Share this video right now to your wall right now and you will be in my free drawing to win what I'm gonna show you after. Okay, so now let's go on to, we've first we've cleansed, now we've exfoliated, now we need to treat our skin because we've exfoliated, we've done a lot of stuff to our skin. Um, the next thing you're gonna wanna use is a rose water. Rose water is a toner. You're gonna to use rose water after your exfoliating mask. So as soon as you rinse off, just grab a rose water, just a little spray, just like that. Just let it set. Let this sit for about, I would say, three to five minutes so that the rose water is actually working on your cleansed skin as it's designed. You don't wanna pile on products, on products, on products, because then the product isn't working as designed. So let it work for about three to five minutes. What rose water does is it fills your skin with antioxidants, it shrinks your pores, it tones your skin, it evens out redness. A lot of my friends that have uh, rosacea love the rose water. Um, it helps clear breakouts. You can use your rose water any time of the day. I actually love to spray it on my little toddler. He's five and he loves, I'm like, baby, you want rose water? He goes, yeah, and, and he loves it. And just, you just feel good. You can actually store this in the refrigerator during the summer and just spray a nice cool, spritz of rose water on your face just to feel refreshed and cooled off. Um, it'll help with sunburns. It doesn't, I'm not gonna say it's gonna heal anything, but it definitely helps reduce and he, speed up the healing process. And that's been proven <laughs> amongst many, many, many people that have, are just showing results, results, results with rose water. So definitely grab a rose water. After about three to five minutes, it's time to moisturize. You must moisturize your skin. Oily skin, ladies out there, I have very oily skin and I used to skip the moisturizer because I was under the impression that the more moisturizer I put on, the more oily my skin would be. So I skipped it. So my skin was really oily and that's why I thought that. I already have oily skin, I don't need moisturizer. 
That was very, very wrong. <laughs> and this is why our skin needs to be moisturized. Without it, our skin overcompensates on the oil. So there was never a, an answer to that for me. What, by skipping moisturizer, I just became crazy oily, especially by the middle of the day. Oh my God. And like to try to even keep any foundation looking good or get any makeup on without creasing was just in, insane. I was always touching up my makeup and I didn't know why. This is why moisturizing solves that problem. So let me show you my favorite, favorite thing ever to use is a time correcting night cream, which my new one, look at that. I'm almost out. Oh man. <laughs> my new one is actually probably going to arrive today. I ordered a whole pack of skincare. So this is how much you use of any kind of moisturizer. I just love this one and I'll tell you why. Just about the size of a nickel. Okay, so you wanna just touch it to your fingers. And this is really important when you apply moisturizer. Let your body heat kind of warm it up and this also kind of breaks down the molecules and you're just gonna to touch it around your face and then gently rub it on and sort of pressing it in. Especially around the eye area, you wanna be very gentle not to pull. This is why I didn't do makeup today because I was gonna show you skincare. <laughs> and I love to uh, put it on my neck as well. I'm going to show you another thing that is something that a lot of people skip. And I'll show that to you real quick. I love time correcting night cream because it has this just a very gentle, mild smell that's almost a non, non smell. It's just a little bit. So it just smells good and clean and fresh without being like a fragrance or a perfume. Okay, now you notice I'm rubbing my hands like this, and I'm not doing this because that pulls the skin on our hands. This is what I was gonna show you. Grab some time correcting night cream, put it on the top of your hands, and rub the tops of your hands together. This way you're not pulling harshly as we would be if we were doing this. And use your fingers to your fingers, the top of your hand to the top of your hand. And this just instantly gives your hands a more youthful look. If, you're, if you look at your hands and you're like, oh man, I can see wrinkles or I'm seeing things I don't like, you know, don't forget to moisturize your hands, but you need to do, treat your hands as you do your eye area. So just very gently push it in and then use again tops to tops instead of this trick. Okay, so that'll help with that. And um, the reason Time Correcting Night Cream is an outstanding product is because it's enhanced with squalane. Now squalane comes from two Two derivatives. One is plant-based squalene, one comes from shark livers. So this is cruelty-free and this is plant-based squalene. Squalene is actually a key ingredient to reduce wrinkles and it's a hyper moisturizer without oil, being oily, creating oils or making you feel oil. It feels light, it feels silky, it feels airy. And when you hear the word cream, it can sound like, oh, I'm putting on this thick thing, but it's not, it feels beautiful. And you, you're just gonna love how your skin feels. It's just so crazy amazing. I'm gonna have to take this off with the shine cloth just before I use my detoxifying mask because I want my skin to be clean. So I'll show you a little trick I use with the shine cloth as well. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is use a serum. This is a beauty serum. This is called Uplift and this is pure squalene. Pure squalene, legit. So I'm gonna wipe off my fingers because they get kind of slippery. <laughs> And I'm going to open this up for you here. So it comes with a little glass dropper. Now my, mine is almost gone. You can see that this is in my, my order coming today as well. But you'd actually just take a little tiny bit. Let me show you. I don't even drop it out. I just kind of touch the area. I want to have wrinkles reduced. And then if I do get close to being out of my bottle, this is what I do. Take that whole lid off. Just turn it over onto my finger. And then I can touch the areas. I want wrinkles reduced. Now, I am 47 years old, <laughs> and I do this pretty much every night unless I'm just really tired and I absolutely forgot. So if you can see what I'm doing here on my forehead, I have these little lines here. Some people have really strong lines. This will help reduce that. And if you notice how I'm applying it, I'm tapping it onto the area. I'm not swirling. I'm actually tapping, so I'm pushing the product into my skin instead of moving my skin around. We're trying to reduce wrinkles and when you push and pull your skin, you're actually just causing more. You can actually use this. I do this before bed. I, I'll turn this over and I'll let it kind of drip on my chest and I rub it right here on my chest so you can see. I sleep on my side and a lot of women 
you get those wrinkles on your chest. And how do you help that? You use squalane. So letting this just drip down and then just rub it on and onto your neck. Lastly, what I do is the same technique I use with the lotion. Let me put a little bit more so you guys can see. If you get down to the almost the end of your bottle, there it goes. Boom, one drop. <laughs> and I use the same technique. And this reduces wrinkles on the hands. So that's how you can reduce wrinkles on any area of your face, but also don't forget your neck and your chest and your hands. So I'm pressing, I'm pushing in. I love, love, love Uplift. I've had extreme results with using Uplift. I just, I just can't go without it. <laughs> I've been using it for about three years and I uh, just love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now we have all this goodness on our skin. You're definitely gonna wanna let it set and work with your skin, work with your body heat, work with your chemistry. All of us have a different and unique chemistry, so let it set for a good 10 minutes before you do makeup, before you do anything else. And anything else, what I mean is applying something like a wrinkle reducer that I use called Instant Lifting Serum. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. So I'm not gonna apply this, but I'm gonna show you and tell you about what it is. Instant Lifting Serum really works. So I like to give it a shake. That's what it is at the bottom there. You can see the product. I'm gonna squirt about the size of a pea onto my finger. All right. And just a little bit comes out because the actual product isn't designed to pump out like a lotion. You just need that little teeny tiny bit. Again, touch it to your other finger apply to the areas you want to see improve. It's gonna start working in 10 minutes. I put it here, 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 here. The same areas that I used um, the Uplift Serum on, I also use the Instant Lifting Serum, but I do wait 10 minutes. So that's how you do that. And it lasts a good three months or so, maybe even a little longer. So you just need that teeny tiny little bit, boom, 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 and put it on. It does not have a smell. It does not feel oily. It does not, uh, make your skin dry. It, it, everything about it just goes right into your skin. And then if you want to do makeup, if you're just doing a skincare day, you can just leave it at that. But if you're going to do makeup again, let that sit for a good 10 minutes. And then you can do your primer and do your makeup. And now your face is ready to go for makeup, actually. So right before you do makeup, always add a moisturizer. I'll tell you a little story. There was a, a girl in um, a really, really famous makeup group and she asked which foundation would help her with oily skin. And everybody was giving her all these uh, products recommendations, you know, they're NARS or, or Clinique, and they're just going on and on and on and on. And I realized that it's not about the foundation. She didn't know she, was, she needed to moisturize her face first, going back to the oily skin. Um, dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, we always need to apply moisturizer right before primer. Even if you've done it earlier, like in a skincare routine, if you had to wait about a half hour in between and then you're going to do makeup, still take a little tiny bit of moisture, a tiny bit, tiny bit, not that much. Um, and again, you know, this is something I learned when I was being certified as a makeup artist. That's what they, they, uh, my instructor did for the girl sitting in the chair about to get her makeup done. We're learning stuff. Moisturizer right before the primer. So the primer locks in the moisture and your skin does not overcompensate the oil. So that way you can wear any foundation you want and you don't have to go try all these foundations and spend all this money when really let's handle the main problem was controlling that oil. So she was really happy I shared that information with her and I was like, yay, can't wait to hear how it goes. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the mask. So before I do the mask, let me go grab another shine cloth and I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that I do. Again, after Zumba, I don't need a whole shine wipe because I don't have a full face of makeup, but I do have sweat on my face. So here's a cool trick. You take one and you just tear it in half. Now you have two. <laughs> and then I just fold it back up. I tuck it right back in to the little slot, push the air out of the bag and press it down, ready to go for next time for my next Zumba class that I don't have a bunch of makeup on. <laughs> if you guys follow me, you know I do a lot of makeup art looks. And I definitely use a full shine cloth for that. Sometimes I use two if I've done a really, uh, really crazy look, <laughs> like I did the other day. I did a, the kids at our, at our kickboxing class were calling me a transformer skeleton. <laughs> they were so cute. 
Okay, so we want a clean face before we do our mask. You can use your fingers if you want for your exfoliating mask. Okay, you can dip in there with your finger, as you can tell that I have, and just get a nice good scoop. I wouldn't recommend double scooping because you don't want to add more bacteria in there that need to be in. So just get a nice good scoop and use that. But for the detoxifying mask, the charcoal bamboo mask, you're not going to want to do that. What you want to do for this, it's activated. Okay, so there, the reason it's putting oxygen into your skin is because it's activated. So you want to use a paddle. This is an applicator, and it's a silicone end. It's not a brush. Okay, so it's silicone. And I'm going to just kind of touch the product around. I'm not going to stir it, but this kind of just gets everything a little mixed. And I'm going to grab a big scoop because I'm not going to double dip back in here. Okay, so I'm just kind of giving it a little mix. I'm going to grab as much as I need for my whole face with this paddle. And in the meantime, I'm going to put the lid back on because I don't want oxygen to get in there and change the makeup of the product and why it acts the way it does, what it does for your skin. So I just put the lid on with one hand. Now at this point, I am just going to take the whole thing and scoop it right off into, onto my fingers. Okay, set that aside. Okay, so let's go. Taking both hands and just put it on, have fun, play in the mud. <laughs> this mask feels so good, it goes on, it feels like a mousse, kind of buttery mousse. And it stays soft. It doesn't get hard. And you don't have to wait 45 minutes or anything for it. It just actually starts to work in immediately when it hits your skin. And then you're going to leave it on for about five minutes. Okay. I'm going to show you real close as soon as I've applied it, what it's doing. I'm using my, my laptop as my mirror. So <laughs> usually if I was in my bathroom, I would have my sink to rinse off my fingers just straight away, but today I don't. So if you can hear it, it's kind of bubbly. Okay, go around my mouth. Okay, leave the area around your eyes open. All right, now again, if I was in my bathroom, I would just rinse my fingers off in the sink, but I'm here. So what this mask is doing now is it's pulling out toxins. You're going to see areas where it's getting a little thicker. You see that? It's getting a little thicker, a little more bubbly in other areas because those areas are, especially on my forehead, you can see this. The toxins are being pulled out. Oxygen is being pulled in, and jojoba is gently exfoliating my skin right now. <laughs> and that's what's so cool about this mask. It's Always, it's working. You can see it. You know it's working. When you see it get uh, bubbly in certain areas, you're like, wow, my skin really needed that right there, especially. Um, there are different areas of our face that experience different things. Um, just environmental. If, you're a, if you touch your face, you know, um, don't do that. But, if, you know, sometimes we do. And that just adds bacteria to our face. So sometimes people are touch their face a lot more on their cheeks. Um, sometimes people have a hair that gets on their face, bangs, or the way they wear their hair. Maybe they've worn a hat that day and they sweat it along the band. Whatever the case is, there's different areas of your face that might, you can might see more uh, the toxins being pulled out. So I love this mask. This mask has changed my life. This whole skincare routine has changed my life. My skin was very, very oily. I used to break out all the time. There was always at least two to three breakouts on my face if not up to 10, 15, 20. It was really bad, you guys. I mean, I'm being honest. Like, I will always tell people what my skin was like. It was horrible. And for me, it just made me feel self-conscious. I didn't like it. You know, it just made me feel like, oh, don't look at me. <laughs> and I don't like to feel like that. So when I found this skincare routine and how awesome it worked and the results that were there, the results are what showed because there was no... I tried the stringents, I tried everything. I try all the stuff off the store shelves. I tried it all. That's how I know that this works. And that's how I know that when you don't have the information you need, you're going to spend hundreds of dollars and still be unhappy.
So this knowing what to look for, knowing what to buy is super helpful. So again, going back to a, a makeup remover or just a face cloth that you want to cleanse, use one with oils in it. Don't just use an alcohol astringent. That's going to dry out your skin and it's going to shoot those oil glands into overdrive. You're going to be right back at the same problem. So use an oil, essential oils. Rose, this has rosemary, jojoba, vitamin E, which is so good for your skin, um, olive oil. Yeah, rosemary, olive oil. Oh, and sunflower oil. Amazing, beautiful, amazing. This pack is also super affordable because there's 30 in here and it's only $20. And you saw how I could tear one in half, so you can even get more out of it. Um, so that's that. This is gonna sit for five minutes. I'm gonna go rinse it off. And again, follow up with rose water. Then I'm gonna moisturize. And then I'm gonna treat it with Uplift My Beauty Serum. And then I'm gonna go in with Instant Lifting Serum because I love this stuff. It just, it's a game changer if you have wrinkles. So let's get into it. If you have shared this live video during the live, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna give to you. So you still have a chance. I'm gonna give you one of my very favorite products ever, and this is a bonbon. And you guys know I live in my bonbons. This is raspberry cheesecake. And I'm gonna show you the bonbons. They are tinted lip balms. This is, oh, the name, the name. Cherry Cobbler. <laughs> I love Cherry Cobbler. Some of my other favorites are, and I'll show you what I've done with them. So here's the raspberry cheesecake. This is a white one, vanilla. I sleep in this. And this is a, a beautiful color that I love. I wear all, all the time on red velvet cake. So let me show you what I've done with these. As they were coming down to being, uh, let's see, I'll show you this one. This one is pretty much done, right? It's flat, but there's so much more in there. So let me show you a really cool trick. All right, so this is what I've done with these three. I'm gonna show this to you. I love the case because it screws on it and it's a metal case, it's not plastic, so it doesn't feel it doesn't feel um, weak or cheap or anything like that. And so here is how I emptied them out, okay? I took a scooper and I emptied them out. What I did was I smushed them up together and I put them in a little container and now I have a beautiful custom, hold on, let me move this thing. I have a beautiful custom color bonbon that I made myself and I didn't have to waste any product because there's a lot down there. So do you see how much was still down there? This is so great. So you can either use a lip brush or you can use your finger and you apply it and your lips just feel so good. Look at this. And it gives a little bit of color, super pretty. Love it, love it, love it. So if you have shared this video during the live, I'm just about to go off live. I'm going to have a drawing, and a lucky winner is going to win a brand new lip balm. I'm so excited. So thank you guys for so, mu so much for jumping on, joining in. It's getting to be about almost five minutes for me to rinse off my mask. You don't want to leave it on longer. It's not going to do anything bad, but it's just, you know, to stay within the way a product is designed so it works with your face and it works with your skin. The way it's designed is always the best thing to do. So I'm super excited. Thank you guys for jumping on. If you have shared this video, thank you. If you share it after and it's a replay, thank you. I appreciate that. I, although I can't have you in my drawing because I have to be fair to everybody, I do appreciate that. If you think this skincare routine um, information can help somebody navigate through the incredible amount of products that are out there that are pretty much $30, $40, $50 and higher, help to navigate you know, what to look for, how to use it, when to use it. Thank you for sharing this video and helping your friends navigate those crazy skincare seas out there. They're crazy, they're torrential. <laughs> it's like, ah, I don't even know. And then you try something and you're disappointed and you're like, oh my God, and then there's more money that you feel like you've wasted. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, and as always, please show, show some love, give a like. Um, you like my fan page and you choose follow and then see first, you'll get a really cool little bell notification every time we go live or there's something so you don't miss out. So thank you so much. Have an amazing, wonderful Friday, a beautiful weekend. And I really appreciate you just being part of my world and being my friend. So take care. I'm going to go rinse this off real quick. 
and follow up with my skincare routine. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day. I will see you next Friday for episode eight. What? All right, bye.